He was basically like my backbone, like he always had my back. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be Marine. When he was gone, it was like, okay, now it's time. I got to figure things out on my own. I don't want my son to grow up without a father. That was my um, main key to, to getting me through those days. If he was here, he would be smiling, looking down on me, and he's proud today. It's going to be our main event next week in Fresno, California. Tim, what do you expect from Jamel Herring against Lamont Roach? Well, you know, going into his title fight, I felt that he didn't have the confidence needed, but then he showed. And what happens when you win a world championship, you become 30% better. I'm expecting the best Jamel Herring that I've seen in a long time. Lamont Roach is in the position that Jamel Herring was in his mm -hmm. last fight. He's on the hunt right now. That's going to be exciting. He's going to be hungry. I want to see how Jamel Herring looks now that he's the champion, he's mm. defending, and he's not going to try to get a title. Like Tim said, he should be a lot better this time around. Jamel Herring wasn't supposed to be an Olympian. He was. He wasn't supposed to be a champion. He was. He has been underestimated at every juncture in his career. The 130-pound division just got a little bit more exciting. I want to see the best of Jamel Herring, too. It's going to be a special Veterans Day show from Fresno, California. Jamel Herring taking on Lamont Roach.